Chess friends, we all love chess game, that's why we are here. We like chess variations game like 4 player chess, chess 960 in chess format, 2 or 4 grandmasters versus stockfish or alpha zero chess engine. While talking I got a new idea, there is 4 player chess variation game, I thought Leela zero, alpha, dragon and I will play 4 player chess game and make a video about that. Comment me if you like it and you can also tell me what kind of chess video you want. If your comment gets so many likes then I will make it. Because there is many game requests, I can't make these chess videos in one day. Our today's game format is Hikaru and Magnus will play against Alpha. If Magnus plays wrong move but Hikaru finds best move then the computer will play Hikaru's move. And if, Hikaru plays inaccuracy or bad move but Carlson finds best move then the computer will play Carlson's move. Let's go, Hikaru and Magnus choose to play e4. Alpha played c6, he wants d5. d4. d5? White have many lines. You can take the pawn or push it. Knight c3. Or knight f3. Then played e5. You can play c5, or bishop f5. Alpha played c5. d takes c5. e6. Bishop b5 check is an inaccuracy because of this. The knight will develop with two threads. Number 1, number 2. So, they played a3. Bishop, takes c5. Here, Magnus Carlsen played queen g4, not bad. Knight e7. b4. h5. Targeting the queen, your queen is worth move than a bishop. He played queen takes g7. Rook g8, critical move. Magnus and Hikaru choose to play queen to h6. But best move was queen h7. Alpha's strategy is, because he played h5, he created an open line for his rook. Bishop can move forward to target the rook and pawn. Great structure to support the knight to come in the center. Queen and bishop can create some pressure on this pawn. So, alpha played bishop d4. Rook a2. You might think white can push his pawn, but pushing the pawn will create blockage for your knight. And the pawn will be a target. So, rook a2. Bishop, takes e5. Queen takes h5 by both players. Bishop f6. You might think white should develop his knight, but it's not so easy. Let me show the variation, if knight f3 happen. Then rook h8, queen g4. e5. Queen g3. Knight f5. Your queen have only one square. Queen g4. Knight d6. Queen have only this save square. Queen g3. Then knight e4. And your queen is trapped. You will love then game. Back to the position. Magnus wants knight e2. Hikaru played better move bishop b2. e5. Queen e2. Bishop goes to g4. You can't play f3. Because your knight will not able to develop. And your black squares will be weak. Knight will come that square in the future with support of the queen, black square bishop or the e, d pawn structure. So, they played knight f3. You can't play e4. Because you will lose your bishop. So, alpha played knight d7. h3. Bishop e6. Best move is to play c4. Pawn takes. Then knight develops on c3 freezing the pawn. But they played bishop takes e5. Knight takes e5. Knight takes e5. Alpha played queen c7, targeting the knight with bishop and queen. So, knight d3. d4. Rook b2. Long castle. Queen f3. 
Bishop g5. h4. Bishop h6. Bishop e2. f5. Queen h3. Bishop d5. Bishop f3. King b8. Castle. Bishop takes f3. Queen takes f3. Rook g4. He wants knight g6 to target the pawn. And creating rook battery to target g pawn. So, rook e1. Knight g6. If you play queen takes f5. Let me show the variation. Rook takes g2. King can take it or run away. If king takes rook. Then knight takes h4 will fork the king and queen. And if, king f1. Then queen h2. Black wants knight f4. Cutting off the file, to create some possible threads. And if you play rook e4. Then rook f8. Black will face so many troubles. Black is totally winning here. Back to the position. So, they played king f1. Knight takes h4. Queen h3. Protecting that square from the queen. So, alpha played bishop g5. They chose to play g3. But best move was rook e5, cutting off the diagonal. And threatening to play rook takes f5. Queen takes g4. But they played g4. Knight f3. Rook e2. Bishop e3, fantastic move. If you take the bishop with your pawn. Let me show the variation. Then rook takes g3. Rook d g8. Threatening mate in 2. So, rook g2. Rook takes rook. Queen takes g2. Rook takes g2. Black is winning because he have active knight and queen and white's rest of the pieces are so passive. King is wide open. Back to the position, the bishop is creating pressure to the king. If you think rook takes bishop. Then d takes e3. Black gets open file. Black is threatening to play e3. If king takes pawn. Knight g1 will fork your king and queen. And you can't take the pawn because of rook takes g3. Rook d g8. Knight h2 check is a possible attack. Back to the current position, they played queen h5. Queen g7. Alpha wants rook h8. Queen h1. Knight g5. You still can't take the bishop. Your king will be exposed. Knight e4, threatening knight takes g3. Rook h8. White will lose the game very quickly. So, they played knight c5. f4. f takes e3. They finally take the bishop. f takes e3. In this position, alpha's strategy is white's king is open. He will take the pawn. Rook f8. King there. Rook g1 check. Queen takes g1. Knight f3 check. It will be checkmate. Rook h2. Alpha played rook takes g3. And in this position, Magnus Carlsen resigned. Because it's minus 11. No matter what you will play, you will lose. If c3. Then d3. Third or seventh ranked, two connected pawns are better than a rook. Hikaru still playing his game, he played queen takes b7. You can't save your knight. Knight c5. Because there is mate in 4. I challenged you to find mate in 4 for black. If you find then comment me. Back to the current position. Hikaru played king d3.
Thanks for watching subscribe for more. Bye bye. Take care. See you in my next video.